even 18 years after his death. Carlo Eighty's remarkable body remains impeccably preserved, sparking debates over whether it's a miraculous occurrence or the result of advanced scientific methods. While some attribute it to divine intervention, others argue that modern techniques played a role. The truth, however, may diverge from these narratives. Join us as we delve deeper into this intriguing tale. Pope Francis officially declared Carlo Eighties blessed on October 10, 2008, and recent announcements confirm his impending canonization. Before we uncover the reality behind these events, let's revisit his inspiring journey for those unfamiliar with it. Drop an amen and pray for St. Carlo Eighties' intercession below. Carlo Eighties was born in London on May 13, 1991, to Italian parents Andrea Eighties and Antonio Alano. Shortly after his birth, the family relocated to Milan, where Carlo spent most of his life. From a young age, Carlo displayed profound devotion to the Virgin Mary, often praying the rosary fervently to express his love for her. He was a devout attendee of Mass, partaking in communion regularly and frequently meditating before or after religious services in front of the tabernacle. In addition to his spiritual pursuits, Carlo harbored a keen interest in computers and technology. While studying in Milan, he drew inspiration from various saints, particularly Saint Aloysius Gonzaga and Saint Francis of Assisi, whom he admired as role models for his life. Carlo held a special fondness for Assisi, a city he cherished visiting. Carlo Eighty's exemplary life continues to inspire, prompting many to seek his guidance and intercession. Carlo's profound connection to his surroundings was palpable, despite his youth. However, his life took an unforeseen twist when he received a leukemia diagnosis during his teenage years. Faced with this daunting challenge, Carlo exhibited remarkable faith and unwavering resilience. Rather than succumbing to despair, he chose to offer his sufferings to the Lord, the Pope, and the Church, declaring, I offer all the suffering I will have for the Lord, the Pope, and the Church. His courageous acceptance of this cross became a profound testimony to all who witnessed it. Now, reflecting on Carlo's story, what lessons can we glean? His narrative offers a multifaceted moral, imparting several invaluable insights. Firstly, Carlo Eighties exemplifies how deep faith in God can provide inner strength and resilience amidst life's trials. His unwavering devotion to the Eucharist and the Blessed Mother, coupled with his steadfast practice of confession, underscore the transformative power of a committed spiritual life. Furthermore, Carlos' willingness to offer his suffering as an act of love and sacrifice serves as a poignant reminder of the redemptive value inherent in embracing life's challenges with grace and purpose. His life story continues to inspire countless individuals seeking solace and spiritual guidance. In conclusion, Carlo Eighty's journey is not merely a tale of personal struggle, but a testament to the enduring power of faith, devotion, and the profound impact of one's courage in the face of adversity. Carlo made a profound choice in response to his illness. He willingly offered his suffering for higher purposes, demonstrating that even in the face of the most daunting challenges, there is potential for discovering profound purpose and meaning. His impact on youth stands as a testament to the transformative influence young individuals can wield in the world. Carlo's passionate interest in technology led to the development of a website that catalogs Eucharistic miracles, exemplifying the use of personal talents and passions to evangelize and inspire others. Carlo Eighty's life is a compelling affirmation that holiness is within everyone's grasp. It is not a privilege reserved solely for a select few, but a universal call accessible to all, irrespective of age, health, or circumstances. His journey underscores that each person can aspire to holiness by embracing faith, courage, and love in their daily lives. Authenticity was a cornerstone of Carlo's philosophy. He emphasized the significance of living genuinely and authentically, urging individuals to embrace their uniqueness rather than conforming to societal expectations. Carlo believed that everyone possesses inherent gifts and talents that, when embraced and utilized, have the potential to make a profound impact on the world. Central to Carlo's spiritual life was his profound reverence for the Eucharist, which he viewed as a powerful conduit for drawing closer to Jesus and experiencing a glimpse of heavenly bliss. 
His unwavering devotion to this sacrament serves as a poignant invitation for all Christians to rediscover and re-engage with the profound beauty and significance of the Eucharist in their spiritual journeys. In essence, Carlo Eighty's life and legacy encapsulate a powerful narrative of resilience, purpose, authenticity, and spiritual devotion. His example continues to resonate, inspiring countless individuals to embrace their unique gifts, deepen their faith, and strive for holiness in their own lives. Carlo Eighty's life story serves as a profound source of inspiration, urging individuals to embrace a life imbued with deep faith, to offer their trials to God, and to utilize their talents for the betterment of society. Pope Francis occupies a pivotal role in Carlo Eighty's narrative for several compelling reasons. Firstly, the Pope played a crucial role in the beatification of Carlo Eighty's on October 10, 2020. Beatification signifies the Catholic Church's formal acknowledgement that Carlo lived a life characterized by heroic virtue, deserving public veneration, particularly within his local community. Prior to beatification, Pope Francis had already recognized Carlo Eighty's heroic virtues in 2018, declaring him venerable an essential step in the canonization process affirming Carlo's exemplary life of profound virtue. This recognition underscores Carlo's remarkable dedication to living a life of faith and virtue to an extraordinary degree. Pope Francis frequently highlights the inspirational lives of young individuals who exemplify unwavering faith in action. The Pope prominently features Carlo Eighties as a role model for the youth, illustrating that holiness is attainable at any age and inspiring young people to embrace their faith fervently. The journey towards canonization, which is ongoing under Pope Francis' pontificate, represents the final and definitive recognition within the Catholic Church that Carlo Eighties resides in heaven and is worthy of universal veneration as a saint. Pope Francis has actively facilitated and promoted the official recognition of Carlo Eighties' exemplary life and legacy, encouraging Catholics worldwide to emulate his model of faith, particularly among the younger generation. In essence, Carlo Eighties' story is not merely a historical account, but a living testament to the transformative power of faith, perseverance through suffering, and the profound impact individuals can have on their communities and beyond. Pope Francis' support and endorsement of Carlo's spiritual journey serve as a beacon of encouragement for all to embrace a life of faith, virtue, and service to others. Dear Saint Carlo Eighties, we humbly implore your intercession before God, asking that, like you, we may discover strength and resilience through our faith. May we emulate your example of offering our sufferings to the Lord, the Pope, and the Church, finding authenticity in living our lives as originals, and using our unique gifts to positively impact the world around us. Just as you did, guide us, Saint Carlo, in rediscovering the profound beauty and transformative power of the Eucharist, enabling us to draw closer to Jesus with each sacramental encounter, inspire in us a devotion to the Blessed Mother as deep and unwavering as yours, granting us the courage to face life's challenges with the same joy and hope that characterized your own journey. St. Carlo Eighties, patron of the internet, we seek your guidance in harnessing technology to spread the gospel and illuminate every corner of the world with Christ's light. May our lives, inspired by your steadfast faith, courage, and love, serve as living testimonies to the transformative power of God's grace. Carlo Eighties' physical body remains remarkably intact 18 years after his passing prompting discussions of miraculous preservation versus scientific intervention. While some view it as a miracle, others propose scientific explanations. However, the truth behind this phenomenon may diverge from these perspectives. Stay with us as we uncover the deeper truths. Pope Francis formally beatified Carlo Eighties on October 10, 2008, and recent announcements confirm his upcoming canonization. For those unfamiliar with his inspiring story, let us briefly recap. Carlo Eighties was born on May 13, 1991, in London, to Italian parents Andrea Eighties and Antonia Alzano. The family relocated to Milan shortly after his birth, where Carlo spent the majority of his life. From an early age, Carlo demonstrated a profound devotion to the Virgin Mary, frequently praying the rosary as an expression of his deep love for her. 
He faithfully attended Mass, received communion regularly, and spent reflective moments before or after religious services in the presence of the tabernacle. Comment below with an Amen and request St. Carlo Eighty's intercession or assistance, affirming your desire to emulate his virtues in your own life. Carlos' unwavering dedication to his faith manifested not only in his regular practice of attending confession weekly, but also in his profound spiritual life. Alongside his religious devotion, Carlo harbored a deep-seated passion for computers and technology. While studying in Milan, he drew inspiration from several saints, among them St. Louis Gonzaga and St. Francis of Assisi, whom he revered as models and guides in his journey. Assisi, a city he cherished visiting, held a special place in his heart, resonating deeply with him despite his tender age. Carlos' life took an unexpected turn during his teenage years when he received a leukemia diagnosis. Faced with this daunting challenge, Carlo exhibited extraordinary faith and resilience. Rather than succumb to despair, he embraced his suffering as a means of offering it to the Lord, the Pope, and the Church, declaring, I offer all the suffering I will have for the Lord, the Pope, and the Church. His courageous acceptance of the cross became a profound testimony, inspiring all who witnessed his unwavering faith and joyful spirit in the face of adversity. Before we proceed further, consider the critical health advisory. Excess sugar in the bloodstream poses significant health risks, potentially leading to severe complications such as diabetes, which dramatically heightens the likelihood of heart disease, including heart attacks. Elevated blood glucose levels can also cause damage to blood vessels, increasing the risk of strokes. This underscores the importance of managing blood sugar levels diligently to safeguard overall health and well-being. Carlos' journey exemplifies the transformative power of faith, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to living authentically and purposefully. His life continues to serve as an inspiration, demonstrating that even in the midst of personal challenges, one can find profound meaning and purpose through faith and selfless dedication. In essence, the potential health risks associated with elevated blood sugar levels highlight the critical need for proactive management, as they can lead to severe conditions such as heart attacks or strokes. This risk is particularly heightened for individuals with diabetes, underscoring the importance of vigilant monitoring and natural methods to regulate blood sugar levels. For those seeking effective strategies to manage blood sugar naturally, consider exploring the resources available through the link provided in the initial comment, which offer valuable insights that could positively impact your health. Reflecting on Carlo Eighty's profound life story reveals a tapestry of multifaceted lessons. His unwavering faith and deep devotion to God serve as a testament to the resilience and strength that can be derived from a steadfast spiritual foundation. Carlo's commitment to the Eucharist and his reverence for the Blessed Mother, along with his regular practice of confession, exemplify the transformative power of a dedicated spiritual life. Moreover, Carlo Eighty's perspective on suffering provides a profound teaching. Rather than lamenting his illness, he chose to offer his sufferings as a profound act of love and sacrifice, demonstrating how adversity can be transformed into purpose and meaning. His example resonates deeply, illustrating that regardless of life's challenges, everyone possesses the potential to find profound significance through faith and dedication. Carlos' impact extends beyond his personal journey, illustrating how young individuals can affect meaningful change in the world. His passion for technology and the creation of a website to document Eucharistic miracles exemplify how personal talents and interests can be harnessed to evangelize and inspire others, leaving a lasting impact on communities and beyond. Carlo Eighty's life underscores a crucial truth. Holiness is not the exclusive domain of a select few, but a universal call extended to all, irrespective of age, health, or circumstances. By embracing faith, courage, and love in their daily lives, individuals can aspire to holiness and make a profound difference in their spheres of influence. Authenticity was a hallmark of Carlo's philosophy, emphasizing the importance of living authentically and true to oneself rather than conforming to societal norms. He believed in celebrating one's uniqueness and using one's inherent gifts to positively influence the world. 
thereby encouraging others to do the same. In conclusion, Carlo Eighty's life and teachings resonate as a beacon of inspiration and guidance, encouraging individuals to cultivate a deep spiritual life, harness personal talents for the greater good, and embrace authenticity in all endeavors. His legacy continues to inspire countless individuals to live with faith, courage, and love, thereby fostering a more compassionate and spiritually enriched world. Carlo Eighty's advocacy for embracing individual uniqueness and leveraging personal gifts to enact positive change resonates profoundly, urging all to contribute meaningfully to the world around them. His reverence for the Eucharist reflects a deep spiritual connection, viewing it not only as a means to draw nearer to Jesus, but also as a glimpse of heavenly grace. Carlos' unwavering devotion to this sacrament serves as an impassioned call to rediscover its profound significance and beauty within the fabric of Christian life. Carlo Eighty's narrative serves as a source of inspiration, compelling people to live with profound faith, dedicating their sufferings to God while utilizing their talents for the greater good. For a variety of compelling reasons, Pope Francis plays an integral role in Carlo Eighty's journey. Firstly, the Pope played a pivotal role in Carlo Eighty's beatification on October 10, 2020, a formal acknowledgement by the Catholic Church of Carlo's exemplary life marked by heroic virtue, warranting public veneration within his community and beyond. Prior to beatification, Pope Francis had previously acknowledged Carlo Eighty's heroic virtues in 2018, declaring him venerable a crucial step in the canonization process affirming Carlos' exceptional commitment to virtuous living at an extraordinary level. Pope Francis frequently highlights young individuals who exemplify vibrant faith through their actions, often citing Carlo Eighties as a role model for young people, demonstrating that holiness transcends age boundaries. The ongoing process of canonization under Pope Francis' leadership represents the final step towards Carlo Eighties' potential declaration as a saint marking universal recognition within the Catholic Church of his presence in heaven and his intercessory power. Pope Francis' advocacy and support in formally acknowledging Carlo Eighty's life and example underscore a concerted effort to inspire the faithful, especially the youth, to emulate Carlos' model of unwavering faith, resilience, and love. In summary, Carlo Eighty's life narrative inspires a deep reflection on faith, resilience, and the transformative power of personal dedication. His story encourages individuals to embrace their unique gifts, engage authentically with their faith, and contribute positively to their communities, thereby enriching the world with compassion and spiritual vitality. Under Pope Francis' leadership, the ongoing process of canonization continues, marking the final and definitive recognition within the Catholic Church that a person resides in heaven and is worthy of universal veneration as a saint. Pope Francis has played a pivotal role as a facilitator and advocate for the official recognition of Carlo Eighty's exemplary life and legacy within the Catholic Church. His efforts have served to encourage the faithful, particularly the youth, to emulate Carlo's steadfast faith and virtuous life as a guiding model. Dear Saint Carlo Eighties, we humbly beseech your intercession before God seeking strength and resilience in our own faith journeys, inspired by your profound example. Like you, may we offer our sufferings to the Lord, the Pope, and the Church, living authentically as unique individuals and using our God-given gifts to positively impact the world around us. Guide us, Saint Carlo, in rediscovering the profound beauty and transformative power of the Eucharist, as you did, drawing us ever closer to Jesus through this sacred sacrament, May our devotion to the Blessed Mother mirror your deep reverence, granting us the courage to confront life's challenges with unwavering joy and hope. Saint Carlo Eighties, patron of the internet, we seek your guidance in leveraging technology to spread the gospel and illuminate every corner of the globe with Christ's light. May our lives, inspired by your unwavering faith, courage, and love, stand as living testimonies to God's grace inspiring others to embrace a life of profound faith and service. In conclusion, Carlo Eighty's journey toward canonization under Pope Francis' leadership underscores the transformative impact of faith and dedication to living a life of virtue. His story continues to resonate as a beacon of inspiration, urging all to embrace their faith authentically and strive for holiness, regardless of their circumstances. 
Thank you for joining us on Faith in God, where we've explored the profound journey of spirituality and the transformative power of faith. Through inspiring stories, reflections, and discussions, we've discovered how faith shapes our lives, offering guidance, strength, and hope in every challenge and triumph. As we conclude, may your journey be enriched by these insights, and may your faith continue to illuminate your path ahead.